whoever caught this design should be kicked in the head for it. It's a horrible design. back to mid 10 y'all so instead of cutting corn first thing this morning we are changing a brake caliper on the dump truck had one lock up yesterday in the evening luckily or one of our local parts houses had one in stock so i got it and this morning i've been turning back into it i did take this apart yesterday due to a rear wheel seal leaking it was leaking the uh, girl in the rear end, it was coming out. It was coming out from back behind it and getting on this brake. And this was yesterday, this was super dirty. Had crud all over it from where it leaked. Got that fixed. I should have looked at the caliper. When I had it off, I would have realized that the uh, caliper was bad and I could have changed it yesterday, but I didn't. So we're changing it today. I have it. And uh, I've done this before on this one. Well, I haven't changed the backs, but I've changed both front ones. Had them lock up just to be an old. This one's locked up to be an old. So I'm going to get all this off here, and uh, y'all get to see how to do it. So just so y'all know, I ain't every day full of rainbows and butterflies and whatnot. Some days, you have brakes lock up like right here, and uh, you got to fix it. You know, we was lucky enough to get home. I mean, the brake was smoking when we pulled in, but we got here, back here to the house, got the truck unloaded. So just want to let y'all know that, that ain't every day full of rainbows and butterflies. Some days it rains, and when it rains, it pours. Tell you a few things you need. You need a big socket to take the lug nuts off, to take these lugs off. These are bud lugs, so you got your bud, you need a special three and uh, 13 and one, 13 sixteenths square bit socket to get get the buds off. The buds are these. So you have this lug nut. You put one tire on, you use these bud lugs to put that tire on. And once that tire's on, you use your regular lug nuts. Whoever comes with this design should be kicked in the head for it. It's a horrible design. So that's my opinion on it. It's a horrible design. It is a huge pain to get the wheels back on and lined up right because the buds have to center the wheel on this one. It's a pain. Do the brake. It's not that big a deal. You pull this nut, pull that out, tap your wedge out, brake's gonna slide back off, pull your line, put your other brake on, no big deal. Well, folks, got the new brake caliper on. Got it on, got it bled. So how I bleed one by myself is I have one of these little vacuum guns. All you do is pump a handle and you can see the needle start moving. And so you have to hook it up, hook it into this hose up to your bleed valve right here. And it's got a reservoir and uh, you just open your bleed valve up, start pumping it and it'll draw out all the air plus fluid and you can cut your fluid and put it back in your reservoir <clears throat> so that's how i bleed things to start off with so now i'm going to put the wheels and tires back on and give a little test drive see how it does if it gives me any trouble i'll come back and bleed it some more and it did a test run good news brakes work in it i didn't die that's always a plus you know not dying it's always a plus so we come down to the field and we blew a fuse in the 47 last night, lost all the power to the cab. I told my brother not to worry with it, that we would fix that today. And I thought it was just a fuse, it was. I had to go back home and take a picture of my owner's manual. 
so I know what fuses are. I did have a piece of paper in there, a copy piece of paper, the fuse printer, fuse panel, fuse panel printout, what I've lost at. So I just took a picture of what was there on my phone. My phone. Got it going. We're about to hit the corner now. So we got that. Found the fuse. What it was, the uh second time but I'll show you that when we get a little closer so if you see right over here where the tractor's at all that green all that green is drowned out it was replanted once and it drowned out a second time well it didn't all drown out it probably has about uh, 
15% stand in it, 20% stand. I notice it where I come back my when I come back and spray it over the top. I noticed that it had a good bit of, it, it had drowned it out a second time. And by then it's kind of hard to get seed that will match up to work to the growth stage of the corn, so I just left it alone. And what it is, it's wet weather spring will pop up there. And there ain't a whole lot you can do about it. You gotta go other side of these trees and cut, up by the house up there and cut, and then over there and cut, we still got to go down down by the creek and cut. Which means we're going down by the creek. We gotta tear paper down so. down through here where all them trees are that's the drainage strip I got to come back and bush all those trees those trees are less than a year growth on them that's how fast trees grow here in, in Tennessee they grow fast so it's all mud through here and it's now time to play the waiting game cause dump trucks full grain carts full and combines full so everything's full Wait. So we're making some progress now. Everybody's back again. Don's done left in one dump truck. He's gonna take it to the pen. This is about to take a load of the semi town. He's empty the crank cart right now. I'm cutting him a half a tank in the combine. Put in the crank cart. Put in the uh, semi. And on this particular farm, what we're in now has had the most ground out. So there's a, a waterway to my right here. It separates the mill. There's a bigger part and there's some small parts of the waterway separate. On these two smaller fields I had more on replant than I did in the big field. A bigger percentage wise too. Not only more acre, not only not only did I replant more acres in the two small parts, as far as percent of the field, I replanted more of these than I did of this field. And like I was saying this morning, you know, all days ain't full of rainbows and butterflies. They do have their stormy spells. This morning started out with a stormy spell, you know, having to fix that that brake caliber on the dump truck. But that needed to be fixed. We couldn't, we couldn't just keep running, running that truck with the bad brake caliper. We'd end up in a pickle, and way it was touching and making the brakes stay on, the, those brakes would eventually got hot enough to catch them on fire. Remember, we got to be down this way a little bit. It's muddy up that way. We got to be down here to be able to safely cross the waterway. So I'm gonna cut some more corn and I'll get back up y'all just a little bit. Hey guys, camera went down on Alex before you sign off, so stepped on here for a minute just to sign off. Appreciate you guys following us. We're filming every day. I'm not putting out videos every day because honestly I'm editing them and I can't keep up with putting them out every day. So uh, you're probably watching this two weeks after I filmed it. So just a heads up on where we're at. Appreciate y'all guys following us. Remember, give us a thumbs up. Uh, that helps us beat YouTube's analytics. So. Helps you get more people in, out there to see the video. So remember to thumbs up it. Uh, subscribe to it. It helps out. Uh, share the video. Trying to just get this out, video out there more. Get more and more people to subscribe to it. So all the help we can get, we appreciate it. We have been putting some uh, shorts out there, YouTube shorts. So just how do you like them? Throw some comments on there. We're trying to do some shorts. Basically what we're doing on Instagram, we're doing some shorts on them. Uh, put some videos out there just getting more people eyes on everything. And by this time, we should have about 35 videos out there. So how are the videos? What do you like about them? What do you don't like? But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you following along. 
God bless and come back and see us.